Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I just want to talk about uh, Cardinal Tetras. Um, so I've got 11 in this tank, and this is the first tank I've had these fish in. Um, my previous tank had goldfish in, and before that, Neon Tetras. So I've had experience keeping both Cardinals and Neon Tetras. So I'm mainly going to talk about uh, Cardinals in this vid, but I'm also going to do some comparing with Neons. And because I've kept both types, I'm just going to see which I think is better. So, um, I'm going to describe the differences of Cardinals and Neons first. Um, Cardinals grow a bit bigger than Neons. Um, up to double the size of Neons, maybe a bit less. But all in all, they do grow bigger than Neons. Um, which some people like, some people don't like. It's on personal taste and tank size. Um, another difference is the hardiness. Cardinal Tetras uh, aren't as hardy as Neons and require slightly um, cleaner water and more accurate pH but I've never had a problem with these fish in terms of water quality. Um, I don't do any tests on this fish tank as far as pH goes, ammonias, nitrites, nitrates. I've never ever done any tests on my fish tanks and I've never had one uh, fish die due to bad water quality. Um, I've maybe he's lost one or two due to disease, but that's mainly from the pet shops and one jumped out, as you'll probably remember. But yeah, I've never lost any cardinal tetras or any quarry cats, anything like that, due to uh, bad water quality. So really, um, people do say they are more sensitive, and I believe they are, but um, they are relatively easy to keep, I suppose. Um, People say that neons are easier to keep. Uh, if you're starting off, I'd go with neons, but for more colour, I'd go with cardinals. Because um, cardinals have got one bright blue stripe that goes across the top of the body. Neons have got this also, but cardinals have one red bar that spans the full length of the body underneath the blue one. Um, whereas neons only have half a red bar, so they aren't as eye catching. If you walk in a room with cardinals, you'll see them kind of stand out and it'll just look really nice. Uh, same thing will happen with neons but it won't stand out as much because you've got a kind of dull kind of white white bar close to the heads. So yeah, um, cardinals are a bit more eye catching and they grow a bit bigger. Um, great fish if you're prepared to acclimate them slowly. I took uh, an hour and a half acclimating these. Um, it took quite a while so um, yeah, just acclimate them slowly in case the pet shop's got uh, different water conditions to your tank and they should do fine. Um, they prefer slightly acidic waters because they're from the Amazon area so if I were you I'd give them neutral which is 7 to about 4. Um, 4 being very extreme. Um, I put on one of my other videos that they could go down to 5 but someone said they can go very low in terms of pH so I'm just gonna be on the safe side say 4 uh, probably 4.5 so yeah with pH gonna keep the region of 4 to 7 um, you don't want to go alkaline at all really because they're Amazon fish and they like acidic waters um, I share the home with Cory Corydoras catfish from the Amazon Basin and tributaries leading to the Amazon and that's one of the reasons why they get on so well with quarries just because they share the same habitat in the wild and um, you'll never really see any fin nipping going on between quarry cats and uh, cardinals if I was to have a Siamese fighting fish in here they'd probably be nipping the fins quite a lot so yeah that's one of the reasons why I like cardinals just because I can keep them with Cory Cats because I absolutely love Cory Cats. And another reason is because they're just really attractive fish and you don't really need any special care. You can feed them on flakes, occasionally give them some live foods, some vegetables, and they'll do fine. Um, they're not ideal for breeding though, neither are neons. Uh, it takes quite a specialist to breed uh, neons and cardinals. I've never bred them and there's not many people who have. Um, so if you did want to breed them, I suppose you'd have to like darken the tank a lot. Uh, just put cloth over it for a few days. And um, yeah, I don't know much more about it than that. 
the prefer it when it's dark to breed for some reason. Um, they like very oxygenated water because um, there's lots of fast flowing streams that lead to the Amazon so it's very oxygenated and they do prefer dim lighting as opposed to bright lighting because um, they're a bit more timid if you've got T5s on the tank yeah they'll be out but they'll be a bit more scared same with piranhas most people think piranhas are big scary fish they'll come out but they're actually quite timid Amazon fish because they're from um, tributaries that are quite dark and kind of cloudy and uh, very low visibility so it's best to keep low light on your fish tank. You can have high light but they'll be a bit more scared. Um, if you're going to keep these fish it's best to keep them in black water tanks or dark water as some people call it. Um, to achieve this you can have dirt that gives off uh, tannins which uh, colours the water like a tea colour. It's not too bad but it kind of simulates a natural environment. You can also make it black water by having a large piece of driftwood in there or uh, adding black water extract. So there's lots of different things you can do to kind of stimulate uh, the kind of natural habitat. Um, they like a densely planted tank. Uh, lots of plants in there. I just chose Ludwig here because it's a very fast growing plant and it grows quite thick so they quite like to hide in that. Um, it's also worthwhile getting fish um, that are roughly from the same area as uh, the fish you got in there because as I mentioned quarry cats are roughly from the same area in the Amazon and they get on great and the water conditions that they need are pretty much the same. You don't really need the all other water conditions. Um, it's good to kind of match personality with colour. So I've got the Cory Cats for personality. But I've got the Cardinals for the colour. I mean, they just since you walk in the room, it hits you. You can, I mean, even if I stand this far away, you can still see them against the black background, and they're just great fish. Uh, I prefer Cardinals to Neons just because they're more colourful, and I don't. I haven't really experienced uh, any type of bad cardinals as far as water parameters go. Um, I've had no cardinals die because of uh, bad water quality. So, yeah, it's just your personal opinion. If you want a smaller fish, slightly easier, careful, go with neons. If you want a slightly more challenging fish, grows a bit bigger um, and a bit nicer colours, go with cardinals. Um, so that's all I can really say about cardinals. So if you like this vid, please comment, rate and subscribe. I do request videos, so get your requests in and I'll try and do one for you. Bye.